Well, it's another hot summer night across the great Pacific Northwest. We're still cl uh, sitting close to 80 degrees. We'll tell you how long it'll last. Coming up, the news starts now. This is Q13 News at 8. Dispatch. We got shots fired. We got multiple people down. We're going to need multiple medics. A weekend of violence in America. Two mass shootings steal the lives of over 30 people in Texas and Ohio. Our future is in our control. America will rise to the challenge. We will always have and we always will win. Now the pressure is on lawmakers to figure out how to protect more people from dying due to gun violence. And we're asking local officials what's being done to keep our kids safe in schools. Plus, thousands of people will cast their ballots tomorrow for the state's primary. The drama that could unfold in the Seattle City Council seats that are up for grabs. And the place a cougar was caught roaming around in the early morning hours. These barbaric slaughters are an assault upon our communities, an attack upon our nation, and a crime against all of humanity. Strong words today from President Trump condemning two mass shootings over the weekend. Good evening, I'm David Rose. And I'm Marnie Hughes. At least 31 people are dead, and tonight many people want to know what is being done to stop the violence as too many are losing their lives in these senseless acts. Now, these communities of Dayton, Ohio, and El Paso, Texas are forever changed as people leave flowers and cards at memorials tonight remembering the lives lost in the weekend shootings. The first was on Saturday at a Walmart in El Paso. A gunman killed 22 people, many of whom were there to buy school supplies. Then yesterday, police say a man opened fire in downtown Dayton around 1 a.m., killing nine people and injuring many more. 